Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in Sutomore, Montenegro, where I have a fortress to myself. Get ready for an amazing day of hiking up to this incredible landscape. I can't wait for you to join me, so let's get started. and welcome back to my channel. My name's Anna and I create solo travel vlogs in Europe and today I am in Sutomore, Montenegro. This is just outside of Bar Montenegro. I've taken the train to the Sutomore stop and the goal today is to hike to the top of Hajnihaj. Could be saying that incorrectly if you know by now. Pronunciation is not my strong suit. It should be a fortress at the top, go all the way down to the beaches and back around to catch the train home. It was one euro and 30 cents to catch the train. Sometimes they don't come around for a while, which is nice. So you get a free train ride. Nonetheless, before we get started, hit that subscribe button, like this video, show it some love and let's get exploring. First things first, I have no clue where I'm going. Like I am so lost. <laughs> <laughs> like I actually one did not do any research two I'm just in a travel mode of laziness three it's a beautiful day so I don't really care if I'm slow to get out and about let's check Google Maps all right so inside Google Maps there is Hejnahaj hiking trail we're gonna pop that bad boy in and hopefully north, 28, walk the right way catch the bus from Bar to Sutomore but I couldn't figure it out this morning how to do that so I waited for the train and how I know to get here. Okay dude, he's right in front. Oh. The best way for me to give you directions of where to go is keep going the direction the train was going so towards Podgorica and follow the main road. There is a sidewalk which is very nice but the cars are nuts here. I think possibly that is where I want to go. Something I've mentioned in my other Montenegro videos is the amount of trash that is everywhere. As you can see here, and unfortunately it's going into a waterway and a stream, probably out to the ocean again. All right, if you see that water pump sign, that is your indication to turn left down more of a side street to keep going towards a hike. That took about 14 minutes with filming. So 10 minutes to get to that turn. Once you reach the stop sign, turn right. Let's go. So in total, I've been in Montenegro for over one week now in the surrounding bar area. And something I have learned is there is definitely a Montenegrin way of life. And if any locals are watching this, please correct me below, but definitely this slower pace of life, particularly in construction. I often see homes that have like rebar sticking out and that the top floor is not complete. Like the first two floors got completed, but then the top floor just like never got finished. So definitely things are a bit slower, a little bit more relaxed, which I admire. Anyway, I'm definitely enjoying getting to walk next to freaking mountains. Makes me happy. If you like the mountains, please subscribe right below. Do you like the mountains? <laughs> okay. Let's keep going, friends. At that stop sign, don't turn right. You want to turn to two o'clock and follow this sign so you don't have to make the same mistake I did. If there is one tip for you to listen about, this is it. So on most of the trails, they have these trail markers that look kind of like a bullseye often red and white it's a trail marker so that indicates that you're going the right direction never really has like a formal sign it doesn't say like montenegrin travel or national park or any of that but there will be trail signs quite well marked so follow those and you know you're on the right path 
which means I made it. Something else I forgot to mention is the last two and a half, three days, there has been some insane spouts of rainstorms. And all I have, first of all, why did I wear jeans? I don't know. I have like hiking pants, but all I have is my sneakers, which serve me well, but I don't think they're gonna be white after today. Let's go. So far so good. I'm just sweaty. I'm really wondering why I wore jeans. <sighs> also, I think All right, we stopped for a quick camera battery change because I'm always a bad YouTuber and forget to charge my batteries. Before I leave, also sip of water. This is my Lark water bottle. Not sponsored by them, but I should be. It has been a lifesaver. It has a built-in filter to it. So although I've been drinking, the Montenegrin tap water just kind of gives me the extra security that maybe if there's any minerals that are in the water that I'm not used to, it's not even getting like long-term sick, but some people have said they drink the water and they just aren't used to it, so they've gotten sick. So anyway, I've been drinking out of my Lark and it's been fantastic and great to save a little bit of plastic because there's sure darn a lot of it in this river. Why did I wear jeans? That's the last time I'll say that. <laughs> This is also the Align Lululemon tank top. I've talked about in videos before. It is a game changer. I have three of them packed with me. It's like a tank top and bra in one. Oh no, no. No. I got them. Let's keep going. Friends, we've just hiked for six minutes without opening up the camera to kind of get a move on. And we're so close to the top. I have seen nobody. There's people at the top. Maybe there's like trolls that live there. It is so easy to follow this trail because there is trail markers maybe every 50 meters. Of course, you could walk a bit slower, but I know it's gonna get chilly soon. So I'm trying to get to the top since I left so late. So normally, like other YouTubers, I cut out that walking back bit. You don't want to see how we film. You just want the magic. But I could not help but keep my reaction. Because as we turn this corner, there's a fortress. And it kind of comes out of nowhere. And it's like, oh, I feel like I'm in Narnia. <laughs> Is this not one of the coolest things you've ever come to the top of a hike to see? I don't know when this was built. You know me. I'm not like a historian. But I know this was not built with helicopters dropping the bricks and stones down. What is my life right now? Actually though, <sighs> again, one of these like, where am I? What am I doing? And I'm so excited that I get to share it with you. Like this is why I love filming and making content for YouTube. People keep asking me and it's cause moments like this, I don't think you ever could have thought you'd come to Bar Montenegro Come see a freaking fortress at the top in the middle of the mountains with the sea in the background. So cool. Yeah. Is this not the coolest? thing you've ever seen. We're gonna keep climbing up. Yes. Yeah. I have 
have to show you this view. Yeah. It's a bit chilly now. I think I better put some layers on before the sweat makes me cold. But there's freaking nobody here. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. This is not a bad spot to stop for a snack. I'm not a fan of heights though, so that's not very fun. It's quite windy too now. So we're just gonna quickly layer back up. Trusted hand-me-down Patagonia to cut the wind. Ooh, that's high. First of all, if you're liking this video, please like it. Literally put a thumbs up below and when you like a video or subscribe, it helps me to continue doing amazing adventures like this and your support means a lot to me. It's been so fun to see this community growing, but nonetheless, I wanna keep this journey going. I'm becoming a little bit more adventurous. It is so windy, I don't even know if you can hear me, but if you can, uh, I hope you do this hike as well and send me an Instagram DM and let's talk about it and how magical it is. I could stay here for a while. We are hiding behind the rock up here at the fortress. Just had a little granola bar, a little protein bar, but taking my garbage back down. Gonna have a sip of water. And then we're gonna hike the same way we came back down. I think you can hike your way to zig grab on the other side, but knowing me, I'll get lost. So I'm gonna hike the same way back down and then make my way to the beach. We won't be filming it because I wanna get down pretty quickly, but I'm going down the same way I came up and there will be trail markers on my way down as well to help make sure I'm going down the same direction. I'm still a little bit creeped out that I'm by myself. Honestly, it's been magical. This view is insane. I'm a Canadian Montenegro at the top of a fortress. What? Like that sentence just doesn't seem like it should go together. See you at the bottom. back to the start of the trailhead which is right here behind me that took less than 30 minutes because my timer is about to go and I even was staying at the top and did a little bit more content creation so about 25 minutes down maybe 25 minutes up if I wasn't filming so if you're not filming a YouTube video that's how long it'll take I'm gonna keep walking and uh, get out of the mud and try to make it down to one of the beaches, maybe for sunset, because the next train doesn't come until eight. Well, the next train actually comes at 5.20, so I could run home, but I'm kind of feeling like I wanna watch sunset here, play risky business and get home in the dark. <laughs> so we'll see how long I film, because obviously when it gets dark, it's harder to see. Well, let's keep going. I'm literally sitting on the most random log in the middle of the nowhere. It's not the middle of nowhere, it's at the bottom of the Hejna Hall hike. But, so we're gonna look up right now how to get to the beach. So as we can sort of see, hopefully you can see, we're up here and I wanna go all the way down to Strabina Beach and then Devashan Beach which is where the Sutomori Mountain Tunnel is, and then I will circle back all the way to the train station. Yeah, it's 4.37. The next train comes at like 5.20. There's also Maljevic Beach. I'm so mispronouncing these, but I think I'm gonna skip that one and just go one, two, and all the way back. So I'll probably be tired by then and want some more food. So let's pump this buddy in. No network connection. Gotta put that eSIM data back on. 14 minutes. Oh, maybe we can do the other one. Oh, everything seems so much closer here. 17 minutes. We can do it. Look at you, sweetheart. You're adorable. Hi. Hi, pumpkins. Oh, you have different
different colored eyes are gorgeous. There are so many dogs in Montenegro and I just want to take them all home. This might be mommy mixed with like a German Shepherd. Like 9.5 out of 10 of the dogs are mutts here and these definitely mutts are, you know, mixed bread, but oh. Oh, here come mommy and daddy. Oh yeah, you look like you could be mommy or daddy. Anyway, we are on the way to the beach and maybe you're gonna come with me. I was walking the way I'm facing and I just turned around to face this. Like, stunning view. Also, I just wanted to make a comment that maybe some folks are wondering about. I think I addressed it in my last Montenegrin video, but I am a solo female traveler. Although I meet friends and I stay with hosts, in general, all my trips are me. Obviously that's what this vlog's about. <laughs> and I just wanted to comment that also as a fair skinned, blondish, kind of brown now hair, I feel very safe. I just wanted to make that known that overall I have felt very safe here and I think I perhaps had a stereotype and maybe others do as well but the Balkans being a little bit less inviting is the right term and overall I have felt like all the humans are extremely kind and just doing their own thing and like don't bother you unlike Catania which you can watch that video up there where I got cat called every five seconds yeah. stop for a moment and uh, eat my orange before we go on to the next speech. Walking back up the stairs. Now I'm going to go to beach number two. Although that Australian friend of mine, she said she hiked along the rocks to the next beach. However, I think she said it took her three hours total, which is too long and the sun's going down. So I rather, I think one, it'll be faster on the road because it's flat and you don't have to like climb rocks. And two, I'd rather just be on the road if I can attempt to ask a person or a restaurant about the bus back if I want to catch something sooner than the 821 train. Again, it's also Easter weekend here. So I'm hoping that train's gonna be relatively on time. But we will find out. A little majestical forest here. Just me in the forest thinking I found the viewpoint, but nope, this is what I found. It is a hidden mini landfill. There's a whole like hot tub down there and a couch and another couch. I want to make a point clear here <clears throat> that I understand it is a privilege and a luxury in Western countries to have the facilities for recycling, compost. I'm not like an economics major. I don't understand how it all works and politics works. I really do think there probably has to be enough demand for something like organics and composting and recycling from the people in order for the government to acknowledge that this is maybe something that needs to be changed just like public transportation. What I am saying in Montenegro is I'm disappointed at how much trash there is because there is trash bins. There is places to put your garbage, your trash, for it to be picked up and gone to a center landfill. Obviously not great. Let's reduce, let's reuse, da da da. But the fact that it's always so close to the water sources makes me sad to think that possibly the next generation who grows up here, who does not have the opportunity to go elsewhere to see how other societies recycle, reuse, reduce, that this will never change and that this is maybe one of many towns, cities with this type of living. That being said, I want to acknowledge what I can do as a citizen to make things better. This is cool. I got distracted. I just wanna keep exploring and protecting Mother Earth 
And I acknowledge that I also need to stop flying as much. And should a trainer bus be available, I need to have the bravery to take them and not the anxiety that I will pee my pants on them. We never found the viewpoint here. But I think we had a good conversation. Comment below what you think. It's meant to be an open-minded conversation. I have lots of learning to do. I may be saying something that is politically incorrect. There may be things about the Montenegrin culture and society that I am not exposed to, but I hope these comments can be as a place of feedback for myself and others to learn and just a conversation piece. It's not meant to be harsh. Let's keep it positive, people. Let's learn from one another and make this world better. My friends, behind me we have Strabina Beach. Like Starbina, but without the A at the beginning. I would go all the way down, but this trail, I've already almost slipped on my bum three times. And the sun is hiding behind the mountain. We found it though. And I think in the summer, when like the pavilions are all set up, it would be very nice. But for now, we need to hike back up. I'm getting hungry for a real meal. To find this spot, this is the entrance. So you walk down this dirt road. It seems random. There's a person's house, maybe like an Airbnb house, the random statue, and you just go to the right. I think I'm gonna leave you again. I think we're actually gonna end the vlog here, actually. Actually, actually, actually. Obviously, I've really enjoyed my time. I can't get sick of this view. And the fact that there's been like no one, no other tourists has been one of the most magical moments. I love meeting other people and like saying hi and kind of sharing this experience of serendipity and sponta spontaneity together. But to have it all to myself, to be able to share it with you and film a little bit easier has been quite the lucky moment. Please subscribe to my channel. I really want to continue this adventure going. Thank you so much for being here and joining me. And suit amore, Montenegro. We'll catch you next time. Have a great evening.